factors affecting the potential energy. The first factor is weight of the object. If we have this stone, it has a mass, so it has weight and it has a height from the ground. If we have two spheres, sphere A of a larger weight and sphere B of a smaller weight and they have the same height and these poles are left to fall down, we will see that the, dep the depression produced from metallic sphere A is larger than that produced from B. This means that potential energy increases as the weight of the object increases. So the potential energy stored in an object increases by increasing its weight. And to calculate the weight, we have to multiply mass times the gravitational acceleration, or g. Where g is a constant which is equal to 9.8 or approximately 10 meter per second squared. The second factor that affects the potential energy is height of the object from the ground. The potential energy increases by increasing the height at which the object reaches. For example, if we have two identical spheres, A and B, and they are left to fall from different heights, the higher ball will produce a larger depression than ball B. So, by increasing the height, the potential energy of the object increases. Note the following. To calculate potential energy, we use the following relation. Potential energy equals weight times height. So, potential energy of an object is directly proportional to its weight and the height from the ground. This means that by increasing the weight or height, the potential energy also increases, or vice versa. Potential energy equals weight times height, and its measuring unit is joule. Weight equals potential energy divided height, and its measuring unit is newton. Height equals potential energy over weight, and its measuring unit is meter. Weight equals mass times gravitational acceleration, and its measuring is Newton. Potential energy equals weight times height, and we can replace weight by mass times g. So potential energy equals mass times g times height. Mass times gravitational acceleration times height. Problem. An object, its mass is 5 kg and it is at a height of 8 meter. Calculate its potential energy if its height decreased by 2 meter. Calculate its new potential energy. Given, mass of this object is 5 kg, the first height is 8 meter, potential energy is unknown the second height is 6 meter this is because the height is decreased by 2 so 8 minus 2 equals 6 meters to calculate potential energy we have to multiply weight times height but first we have to find weight weight equal mass times gravitational acceleration equals 5 times 10 equal 50 newton now we can calculate potential energy at height of 8 meters equal 50 times 8 equal 400 joule potential energy at 6 meters equal weight times height equals 50 times 6 meters equal 300 joule kinetic energy what's meant by kinetic energy it is the work done during the motion of an object what are the factors affecting the kinetic energy? Velocity of the object 
kinetic energy of a moving object increases by increasing the speed or velocity of motion. Note the following. Kinetic energy equals half times mass times velocity squared. This means that kinetic energy of a moving object is directly proportional to its mass and its speed or velocity. To calculate kinetic energy, we have multiply half times mass times velocity squared, and the measuring unit of kinetic energy is joule. Mass equals kinetic energy over half times velocity squared, or 2 times kinetic energy over velocity squared. And the measuring unit of mass is kilogram. To calculate velocity, we have to take the square root for kinetic energy over half times mass, or the square root for 2 times kinetic energy over mass. And the measuring unit of velocity is meter per second. Problem. Problem number one. A racing bike is moving with a velocity of 50 meter per second. Calculate its kinetic energy by knowing that the mass of the bike is 4 kilogram. Given velocity equal 50 meter per second, mass equal 4 kilogram, kinetic energy is unknown. Kinetic energy equal half times mass times velocity power 2 equals half times the mass equals 4 times velocity equals 50 power 2 equals 5000 joule. The second problem. A stone of 0 0.8 kilogram was thrown up and when it reaches 10 meter, its velocity was 8 meter per second. Calculate its potential energy, kinetic energy, and the work done on it. Given velocity equal 8 meter per second, mass equal 0 0.8 kilogram, height equal 10 meter, kinetic energy is unknown. Weight equal mass times the gravitational acceleration equal 0 0.8 times 10 equal 8 newton. Potential energy equal weight times height equals 8 times 10 equals 80 joule. Kinetic energy equal half mv squared equal half times 0 0.8 times 8 squared equal 25.6 joule. To find work, work in this case equals mechanical energy equal potential energy plus kinetic energy equal 80 plus 25.6 equals 105.6 joule. Problem number three. The opposite figure presents the falling of a ball of weight 10 newton from the position A to the position C passing through B. Calculate kinetic energy at A and potential energy at B. First, we have to write down given weight equal 10 newton, height equal 1 meter, kinetic energy equal 0, potential energy at B, weight times height, the height of B from the ground is 1 meter, so 10 times 1 equal 10 joule. Let's compare between potential and kinetic energy. The first point of comparison is Definition. What's meant by potential energy? It is the energy stored in the body due to a work done on it. Kinetic energy. It is the work done during the motion of an object. Factors affecting potential energy. Weight and height. Factors affecting kinetic energy. Mass and velocity. Examples for potential energy. Water at the top of waterfalls has potential energy. Examples for kinetic energy. The running water has kinetic energy. 
low used to calculate potential energy. Potential energy equal weight times height. Low used to calculate kinetic energy. Kinetic energy equal half mv squared. What is the relation between potential and kinetic energy? Potential energy equal mechanical energy minus kinetic energy. Kinetic energy equals mechanical energy minus potential energy. Note the following. If we have a pendulum, as you can see, it has the maximum potential energy at the highest point. As its height decreases, its potential energy decreases and its kinetic energy increases. And kinetic energy will be maximum when its speed is maximum, just before hitting the ground or at the original position of pendulum. On the ground, potential energy equals zero and kinetic energy is maximum. By increasing the height again, its potential energy increases and its kinetic energy decreases until it becomes zero at maximum height. At maximum height, there is no kinetic energy. And potential energy is maximum. On the ground, or just before hitting the ground, kinetic energy is maximum and there is no potential energy. Kinetic energy equals zero at the maximum height. This is the end of lesson one. Thanks for watching.